All right. In this video, we're going to create uh, we're going to create a cylinder, but we're going to mess around with a, a few other parts of the cylinder. So we're going to create. <clears throat> so we could click new part, or I'm just going to go to file, new part, and this one I'm going to save as. cylinder. So I'm going to click save. Changes down here. And we will go to the XY plane. And so if you choose circle or you click the drop down arrow under circle, you'll see these uh, circle tangent or ellipse. Um, what we're going to do is just our regular circle, or at least circle that we're probably used to. I'm going to start at 0, 0, and I'm going to click once and then use my mouse to drag the tool out to, and right now it's measuring diameter. So some students I know I've seen, uh, you get confused about why my line might look different from yours. It doesn't matter. You can measure diameter two points on a circle going through the center at any point and it's always going to be the same measurement so it doesn't matter as long as it's going through the center. So um, I'm just going to do it this way because if I do it that way it's harder to see. And I'm going to make the diameter 3.0 and hit enter. And I'm going to hit escape home and front. Zoom in just a little. So I have a circle there which is 3.0 in diameter. If I needed to change that I could always double click on it and change it to something else. Um, but for right now we're going to keep it at 3.0. I'm going to hit finish sketch home and then extrude and I'm going to go, well, here's what I want you to take a look at. So, um, and you can do this with most of your extrusions. So you can grab the gold arrow out and move this to make it longer and you can see it changes the measurement there. Or you'll see this silver sphere. If you click and hold on that, you can turn this into a conical shape, so like a cone, or almost like a smooth pyramid. So in it, that one works by degree, and you can see over here what it's measuring. <clears throat> and I just want you to change this to make it, um, you can make it negative 10 degrees. So that can be negative 10. Go back to shape and let's make that an even 5.0 and click OK and then click Save. The other thing I want you to do is let's try to we're going to try and shell this so I'm going to click on shell and we're on remove faces automatic face chain thickness is at a tenth of an inch so let's look and see what that looks like so um, if I now all I did was click on the back of that and notice how it hollows this out but it doesn't get rid of the bottom there so we can change the thickness if we'd like. We can also change it from the gold arrow. So we can make that thicker or thinner. Let's make it... Uh, it's kind of interesting at 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 and click OK. And now we have what almost looks like a... Um, I guess it looks like a cone. <laughs> cone or like one of those 
noise amplifiers. And let's make, so we can make the outside of this. We'll make the outside red. And then maybe the rim here, whoops, red, green check mark. And then the rim, maybe yellow. And then um, make the inside blue. So we end up with this here. And we should, if I go back and inspect this, should be able to see, if I click on that, tells me, so the outside circle, so the full diameter of this thing should be 3.0 inches, remember we made that. And then, I wonder if I can, it's measuring radius, angle. Okay, so I mean, I'll check the diameter of that and the height should be or at least the length should be five inches so those are the two things that I'll be looking at click Save and we're good